Christina's kitchen was looking beige and tired. But you know, it's only white paint. It's certainly not finished yet, but already the outside of this kitchen has been completely transformed. Now for the insides. This is a problem a lot of us have. The old water damage under the sink. It just swells the shelf and makes it look plain ugly. Another problem? where to put the bin in the kitchen. Here Christina's housed it in a cupboard, but you know, it's such a waste of space. It doesn't need to be there. So what I want to do is relocate the bin under the sink and solve two problems in one. Just do make sure that you measure the inside of your cupboard because not all of the bins actually fit. It's a 10 minute job to install one of these. Honestly, it's going to change your world. So we've got a shelf on top, one bin for the recycling, one for general waste. Oh. With the old bin gone, I can replace those dodgy shelf supports with some nice shiny white new ones and some cut down melamine for shelves. So we can actually get this cupboard working properly as a cupboard again rather than a bin store. In modern kitchen builds, deep drawers are super popular purely because of the access. But if you've got an old kitchen like this with cupboards, you can actually turn your cupboards into drawers just with some of these wire baskets. One thing that is so frustrating about some types of plastics is that they age and then they yellow. But you can easily take care of it with some appliance spray. You can just go over it, just give it a couple of hits, because something like this is going to let a pure white kitchen down. looks so much better. Oh, a very quick job. With the doors painted up and starting to look glossy and new, the one thing that's going to let this kitchen down is the old kickboard. It really is starting to show its age. So with some standard new kickboard, which you can buy in two different colours, you can either have it in aluminium or in the white. I'm just going to stick that on over the top with some liquid nails. Just line it up. Sit it in. Hides away the years. These tiles aren't bad, they're in pretty good condition. Christina just doesn't like the colour and isn't that so often the case with tiles in a kitchen? Have you ever seen these? They're actually polyester wallpaper tiles. They've got a sticky back and you simply stick them over the top of your existing tiles. If you do make a mistake, you can reposition them. Such a good idea for renters, you know? You can always cover up the tiles that are there, get rid of the ugly and when you leave, peel them off and just take them with you. Well, that's not bad for under an hour's work. Fastest tiling job I ever did. If you really don't like the look of your bench tops, you know, it's not such a big deal to replace them. All you have to do is head down to the special orders desk at Bunnings. Just choose what you want, give them your sizes, and they can do all of these tricky little joins for you. The only thing you'll have to do is use your drill and your jigsaw just to cut out for your sink and for your stove. Now, we've gone for the look of polished concrete. In laminate, super affordable. Even though your kitchen sink is sealed to your laminate bench top, it's a good idea to just run some extra silicon around this inside cut edge. That way, if the seal does fail, it'll stop any moisture from really soaking in and swelling the bench top. To protect the splashback, I've had a piece of clear toughened glass cut to size. All up about $300, this gets held in place with silicon. Isn't it? A few cosmetic fixes and this kitchen feels like brand new. Let's see what Christina thinks. Okay, we're going to do the train. Come and see your kitchen. Okay, what do you think? Wow. Looks really, really nice. I love the bench. It looks amazing and I love the colour. You like that? And I love the stove as well. Yeah, well that works. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think what I'm most happy with in here is the cupboard doors. I think they come up brilliantly. It's paint, believe it or not, but don't they look new? Yeah, it looks brand new. Yeah. And I and love the handles as you well. You like those? Yeah. yeah. They're kind of traditional, but they've still got that modern twist being black. And again, that ties back to the charcoal bench top and the tap. So I think just those little elements can really make a kitchen just feel modern and new again. 
So I know you're a busy family, so enjoy. Thank you so much. And you've lost your brown kitchen yeah. forever. It's gone. It looks amazing. <laughs> We're really, really happy. Thank you so much.